Hey, what's up, everybody? I think we're back. Welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, bringing you the good times in music, fashion, pop culture, and entertainment. This is our Christmas show. Hopefully, we're going to have a really good time. We have some surprise guests calling in. Uh, before we get started, we got to say hi to everybody. Let's start off with our cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Mr. Ron Russell. Notice who has the star on his mic. You do, honey. Well, does that say something? That's nice. <laughs> All right. Let's say hi to everybody. We want to... Scott, uh, <clears throat> I know you're terrific and you have a lot of problems with what goes on, but you always seem to rectify it and make our show terrific. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and thank you so much for being on our show. And I'd love for you to be with us forever and ever. <laughs> now, as for the broad with the squeaky voice, well, that's another story. <laughs> I mean, you know, she can make it on the street. We don't have to worry about her doing show business because she does very well on the corner of Fifth and, and Welfare. <laughs> yeah, what's up? But I wish you a Merry Christmas too, Danielle, my cookie puppy. Merry Christmas, you guys. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> I had a little frog in my throat. Didn't there you go. Hard. I was like wondering that. So I anyway, have, I had the same frog in my throat. So what there it is, though. We got to say hi. So there's Scotty J. What's up, Scotty J? Welcome to the Christmas show. And Danielle, welcome to the Christmas show. Yes. Thanks. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Um, also, you guys, we've got a chat room full of people. Let's give some shout outs. What's up? Twiz and White Pieces in the chat room. Lady Lake, Cindy Lady Lake from Lady Lake Music. Uh, Teresa from Sabine Marketing and Promotions. Eileen Shapiro. I'm sure Bruce is in there. Dave Hughes from Stars Now UK is in the chat room. Uh, I can't see. It's kind of like went too fast for me. But um, but hello, everybody. We're going to have a really fun time for you guys. we got a bunch of celebrity guests calling in. And uh, I think we're going to have a really good time. I got to send one text message. Uh, so also, talk. Hanukkah is coming. I remember a story once where somebody said, Happy Chanukah. I said, What the hell is Chanukah? And they said, The Jewish holiday. So it's not Chanukah, folks. It's Hanukkah. And it starts, I think, the 27th or the 20th. It's very late this year. Usually it runs with Christmas. But anyway, that's just a little bit of information. <laughs> What are you doing? Text messaging. I, we're changing the format, and I have to let everybody know. Changing what format? The format for the show, because they said the video will be better if we have the people call us instead of we call the people. Oh, we never had a format. I so well, that's the for Well, that is a format, and I set it up incorrectly, and I'm trying to correct it because otherwise people don't know to call in. So talk now, for a minute. Scott, are we looking red? His shirt and my jacket because it looks like Chinese orange. That's how we look right there. Yeah, Mand look. Mandarin orange. We look more orange than red. Yeah, my shirt is my jacket is fire engine red. That, it and depends it, on the contrast to the screen. I mean, on one screen you guys look, you know, very vibrant red, just you know, you a very nice Christmassy red. Um, and then on another yeah. screen I have you guys look uh, like a stoplight. <laughs> you know that's the stop. I don't like the stoplight, but I'm wearing. What is coming back in style, thank God, a one-button jacket. It's called a Hollywood jacket, and it's reminiscent of the 1950s, and it has that 1950s look. They put little shoulder pads in it, and the way they cut the jacket, when I stand up, it looks good. But it's very retro, and I love it because I used to wear jackets like this in the 1950s when I was 157 pounds. Could you imagine me at 157 pounds? I was very skinny. Well, that's because I modeled. There and you when go. you're modeling, you have to look skinny. There you go. So we want to get. Besides, they used to pad me in those days. Not my crotch, but they used to pad my shoulders and my chest. If I was wearing a jacket, the whole jacket was totally padded. So wait, who's talk for TV in the chat room? Is that Danielle or is that Scotty J? Uh, I guess it's me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's how I'm logged in. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it says Danielle. Oh. Danielle wrote Danielle. Oh really? So then, then I guess it's her. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know who I am. I'm having an identity crisis. That's oh, okay. no. We want to give a shout out to Thomas Claxton says he's in Disney World and he's at Epcot. And uh, 
He's tuning in from Disney World. So what's up, Thomas? How you doing? Lady Cindy, Lady Lake, I think, is in the chat room. Um, so there's a whole bunch of people, and we're going to have well, a good time. Well, today's show is going to be very exciting because we have so many people on that we love and we are friends with and also clients of Jimmy's and just terrific actors, actresses, entertainment people who are really making the entertainment world worthwhile again. They're bringing forward all their creative juices. Now, is that a line of bullshit or what? But anyway, I had to say it <laughs> because our guests are coming on. And they're fabulous. We're going to have a good time, you guys. Now, my cup is orange, not red. See, it looks orange. Looks like my jacket. Look over here. That's when you'll see it in the delay, when you see it coming up over here. So we want to thank for it. No, it looks, definitely looks orange. I am so thirsty. We have a restaurant in town that I know the owners for years and years and years. And last night for dinner, I really wasn't hungry. I just wanted a salad and something. So I ordered a meatball sandwich. Did you ever have a meatball sandwich? They're really good. But boy, oh boy, what are they putting in their meatballs? Because today I'm so thirsty. So I'm going to call them later on and say, hey, girls, did you put MSG in that chopped meat to make it soft? Because that usually makes me thirsty. That also makes you sick a lot of the time. You know, I, I can't stand. Nobody likes MSG. It's one of the worst chemicals to put in. Facebook had an announcement actually from my daughter, Deirdre Sarego, so look it up, about China sending us all their chicken, chicken that other countries said they wouldn't handle because it's really bad and has some kind of a, a disease in it. But anyway, America has accepted the chicken, so all of you people that eat wings and chicken by the tons, be careful. Uh, make sure it's really cooked so it kills the disease that's in the chicken. Yeah, they're saying MSG is bad. We want to give a shout-out to Bruce Glasgow, who is ill. And we're sorry you're not feeling well, Bruce. What's he's, wrong he's with going... you? Bruce, listen. You go to the doctor. He gives you penicillin. It goes away in no time. <laughs> <laughs> but we hope you feel better. I know you're going back to bed. You're probably listening. We want to wish you a very, very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Everybody, this is our uh, last show for 2019 because Christmas Day will be playing a repeat and New Year's Day a repeat. And... Um, We'll be back on the 8th of January with uh, live shows again. So we want to make and, sure everybody the, has a good time today. The new year is a bit scary for me because this May I turn 50 yeah. again, again. And, you know, turning, for the 30th time. Turn, turn, <laughs> shut up. Don't step on my jokes because I'll, uh -oh. I'll punch you right in the mouth. I'll knock out <laughs> yeah. your teeth. And then, you know what you'll do without teeth? You'll make a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, wait, Rock Titan TV now is in, in the chat room as Rock Titan. Lady Lake uh, is in there. Everybody's wishing Bruce a good time and uh, feel better. And Is Torpedo Shapiro uh, Yes. And he says, and uh, Twism, Bruce Twism says, when you get the penicillin, it'll stop the drip. <laughs> now, you didn't have to embellish on my little joke, <laughs> Twism White big piece i mean you know it, it was an innuendo kind of a joke kind of an ensemble joke where you say i wonder what he really means and the dirty minds know oh. and the clean minds think uh, abscess of his tooth maybe twism says that his birthday is also in may when is your birthday twizzle he hasn't put it in there yet everybody's like laughing though so it's good twizzy we? twizzy big piece where, where oh and hub birthday? reynolds joined us say hi to hub oh hub baby how are you my sexy hub reynolds he puts those hot pictures on of the cowboy and can he sing? And he's so talented. Not only that, but he and his fiance do the most fabulous Western gear. I have bracelets of theirs, and I also wear a gorgeous cowboy hat that I'm sure you've seen me in Facebook with in the summer. You have got to go on his web page. You have got to ask him how you could purchase some of his beautiful things. I mean, I have a cowhide bracelet that's cowboy Western, and in the summer when I wear it, no matter where I go, people say, where did you get that bracelet? It is so cool. Did you get it in Palm Springs? And I said, no, darling. Palm Springs could never produce such magnificence. I say, you got to get it from Hub Reynolds. There you go. Also, we <laughs> says Twism's birthday is May 22nd. I, Danielle, is your birthday May 20th? Yes, She's it dead. is. Oh, there's a lot of May birthdays then, yeah, all three of you guys. I, but I'm a Gemini, really good Gemini. Okay. Because May 28th is a Gemini Torian. Oh, uh, we all want to give a shout out to uh, B. Claudia from Germany has just joined us in the chat room. Merry Christmas, B. We're so happy to see you. Hope you're feeling better. We yeah, love how are you. you feeling, B? We love you, B. It's happy to see you. you um, gotta get we got to call that... our first guest. Wait a minute. You got to get out of that freezing Germany right now. It must be like below zero 
with snow. I, oh, there she is, Torpedo Lil. Oh, look at her beautiful <laughs> jacket. Hey. I love the jacket. I love the hair with the ponytail. Now lower the camera so we can see the torpedoes. Look at the big old Christmas tree she's got. Oh, there's, it. Oh, there's that cleavage. <laughs> there's that wonderful cleavage. Hey, everybody. Now Wait we a minute. I love watching TV on our love seat with, with uh, Eileen because I rest my head on her boobs and it's like clouds, big Fat, juicy pillow cloud. My God. <laughs> <laughs> you, and the dog, you and that dog. Scotty J and Danielle, say hi to Eileen. What, where'd you get the hey. jacket? I love the jacket. It's like a she military. Made it. You hey, made Scott, that jacket? Eileen, you're looking wonderful as always. Wait, you made that jacket? No. She can't sew. She can't sew. She can't do anything but lay in the back. She doesn't cook. She knows how to point. That's yeah, it. Eileen. She's looking she like a general, up. like a like a field sergeant or something, you know, because she's ready to tell us guys what to do. You know? Meanwhile, your Christmas tree is long and thin, like Colin's penis. Exactly. <laughs> like how high is this? It's actually you, fat. <laughs> oh, I thought, you said, I thought you said Colin's penis was long and thin. They're no, saying you you, you took fat. the. Oh, you so, I thought you said long and skinny. They're saying she stole her jacket from Michael Jackson. and So, like, how you have a huge ceiling, right? How tall is your Christmas tree? That's like a 15-foot tree. I don't know. I don't it, know. It I, don't, I don't know inches and trees, honey. Oh. What did she say? <laughs> she doesn't know inches and trees, but if it was a penis, she would definitely know. <laughs> don't get dirty. It's a Christmas show. We're keeping it clean. Oh, that's no fun. So, Eileen, say hi to everybody in the chat room. Hi, everybody. Hey, Twiz and B. B, I love you. And thank <laughs> you. And you know what I mean? And, and Teresa and Bruce Feel Better and Lady Lake and Hub. Did I leave anyone out? Uh, there's other people, but I forgot. It's moving kind of fast. Dave Hughes is in there. You don't really know Dave. Dave. So well. Dave? Yeah, you go. Oh, Thomas <laughs> Claxton. Dave, Dave is the hey. right. Thomas you know Claxton. I mean? Oh, Thomas. Thomas, you are so talented. <laughs> you can't forget, you can't forget you cannot forget Dave. Dave is the one that wants to bang every beautiful woman Sadie. that comes on our show. He likes Sadie. Sadie, Dave, Sadie's hopefully coming on later on this afternoon. Who doesn't like Sadie? Sadie's one of the sexiest women in the world. She's fabulous. In a subtle way. She's not she doesn't flaunt or do. She just is. Like Eileen. Eileen doesn't really flaunt those torpedoes. It's just no. that when she it's just that when she turns the corner, they come first. Ron, I have you to do it for me. That's right. <laughs> How many dates? Dave, Hughes, Dave Hughes says he's dribbling. <laughs> Bruce, Dave says he's dribbling. See now, now I don't really make comments about your breasts. I really don't. It's just that they're so much a part of you. Actually, they're all of you. Actually, <laughs> if they had legs, they could walk and be you. Now, well, you be my my breast, the most famous breast in the entire planet. Thank you. I know that. I'm so glad. <laughs> well, listen, Jane Mansfield. That's Mariska Mar 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 Haggerty's mom, the famous glamour girl Jane Mansfield, was very famous for her boobs. And they made her a glamour girl and also a bit of a movie actress. So hopefully your boobs are going to go in the right hands of the right man that's going to make you a star. Exactly. <laughs> I'm coming soon, Ron. Get I can't ready. wait. I can't wait to see your breasts on my kitchen center island. I love how she sits on the stool and lifts her breasts and lays them on the island, and they come halfway across in my coffee cup. <laughs> I'm afraid if she moves to the right, she'll take and knock everything off the center island. They said you could get lost in her breasts for a month. It's like a maze. Yep. She, she's, <laughs> you, know, you know what? I, you know, you're so lucky because how many girls go through the surgery of putting in the water bags, you know, and having and having to go through that pain and suffering? You were born with gigantic. Were you breasty when you were like 10, 11? I was. I was. And they never changed. And did every little boy in school try to feel you up? Only the big boys, honey. Only the big ones. <laughs> it says if Eileen put aluminum foil on the ends of her hooters, we could dial E.T.'s home. <laughs> That's Rock Titan. That's Scotty J. Scotty J. <laughs> Scotty J is very quick. Scotty J is a boob man. Well, actually, he's an every thing that woman's got man. You know. Bruce Glasgow said he took his phone to listen to bed with him. Well, that's good, Bruce. We're talking about Eileen's boobs right now in case you missed anything. Right, right. <laughs> so, Does that mean you're laying in, in bed with him, with Bruce? Yeah, that means you're laying in bed with Bruce. So listen, I, Bruce. Keep Bruce, your hands he, above your waist. No, Brucey, put your, <laughs> Bruce, put your hands below your waist and I'll have Eileen say something nasty. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and uh, she should be coming soon. I, I see her. I see she popped up on the screen. Just got to see a video. By the way, I love your hair. It looks great. I like the, the little ponytail sticking out the side. Thank you. Yay! Yeah. Hey. hey. Yes, I am. So loud. That's just the way it is. It's Christmas. Get over it. Yes. Hi. Mary Fairy. <laughs> Hey, you guys, now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, along with Eileen Shapiro. We have the fabulously gorgeous and talented Cindy Diadamo from Lady Lake Music. Hey, Cindy, welcome to our Christmas show again. Thank you so much, you guys, for having me. We love having hey, you on. Like we love having you like all the men love having Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> say hi, sis. Say hi to Scotty, J and Danielle, because you haven't been on with them, I don't think, before. Yeah. And hi, Scotty, Jay, and Danielle. Hello. And hi, hello. And, hi, and, hi, and, hi, Jimmy. And, then, oh. and say hi to everybody in the chat room and give Thomas a special shout out. Okay, shout to everybody in the chat room. Let's see if I get it right. We got Thomas. We have B. We have Twiz. We have Bruce who's sick. We have Dave Hughes. Uh, Teresa. Eileen, I think, was there before. And Scotty is in there. I think that's and everybody. Hub Reynolds. Hub Reynolds is in oh, there. Hi. Gosh, yeah, he told me he was coming yesterday. Hi, um. <laughs> now, now, listen, sweetie pie, answer me a question, honestly. Restylin, Botox, what have you got in your face? Because you're more beautiful now than you were two years ago. It's L'Oreal, and it's called Wonder Glow, and it's in a bottle. It costs $10 at the Walgreens. <laughs> you look so beautiful. You must have a nice man in your life. Well, yeah, <laughs> I do. See, a, a, a good bang will make the face look fabulous. She's not going to tell you any of that. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. Do you ever see women without sex? They look like olives five days old. They're all shriveled. <laughs> they, they, they have prune faces like this. Look. You knew it was coming. The <laughs> minute the minute they get a good sex. And I haven't told wait, them anything. <laughs> the minute they have great sex, their faces plump out. Their lips get fat and juicy. They get plumpy. Everybody so you're wants the way to shut up. Your face is very, very <laughs> plumpy. So your boyfriend must be very, very well, shall we say? Good. <laughs> Good. He's he's a very nice guy. Yeah. So what do you think? You're gonna marry the jerk or what? <clears throat> it might be possible. Oh, a wedding! I like that. When do you think? <laughs> do it before I die. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, Jimmy is going to be my events guy, so he's going to figure it all out for me. Right. Mary, I'm going to spin on it. We're all going to do it together. I, I could do drag and be your maid of honor. But Jimmy, <laughs> Mary Fairy, Jimmy's going to be your best man, really? No, oh, not the best me. man. I'm going to be the planner. Oh, I the planner. The wedding planner. No, he doesn't know what's best for his Let her talk. She's trying to talk. Yeah. I'm just upset because he doesn't know his ass from his elbow. Oh, he doesn't yeah, know how to plan right. a wedding. I know everything. At the party we're having tomorrow is 40-something guests. Friday. Friday. It's 40-something guests. I have been working on it for a week, designing it, creating it, making it very beautiful. I will photograph it. It's a big event for us because we're inviting uh, all the people that we really love. I'm sorry you, the New York people are not coming and you're not coming and a lot of people because you all live far away. Right. But um, maybe if you start Thank making you. money, you beggars, you might be able to hat catch a flight next year <laughs> and come to our party. Now, listen, you, Lady Lake, if you marry this guy, he's got $2 or what? Yeah, he's got a dollar. <laughs> oh, good. Then you could fly to our party with him. There you go. So you're in next year, Christmas party. Make the boyfriend buy. I'll be there. Two first class tickets. Where, where are you anyway? Florida or New York? I'm Florida. Florida. Okay. Jet blue is what's, good. Wait, what's the weather like in Florida right now? Hot and sticky. Um, it's about 80. 80 is hot. Okay. Yeah, you know, we've been like in the 50s at night in Palm Springs. It's been really nice. My daughters are going through change of life, and all they do is say, I love the weather. It's so cold. I said, I hate you. I only like it when it's 120. <laughs> but it, it's beautiful, I must say. Tonight we have all of the, the fire pit and all of the light, the gas things going. Not tonight, Friday night. For our guests, so we could put them inside now because we're going to put 40 people in this house. We'll be on top of each other. Eileen, you're missing it. We're on top of each other. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. like Eileen was here. Ron, can you Skype me in? 
<laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Yes, we will Skype you in on if, Friday. If Eileen, if Eileen was here, seven or eight men would love to be on top of her. But anyway. <laughs> Dave Hughes says it's near zero in uh, in the UK. It's but, 82 in Clearwater. No, seriously, about Eileen Shapiro. Let me tell you something, folks. Every guy, this is no bullshit, I swear on my kids. Every guy that I have introduced her to is in love with her. I'm swearing to God. They all come on to her. They all want to go out with her. I don't know. And I, it's all ages from like from like 23 yeah. to like 80. They and, all hit and, on and her from, every time, everywhere. And from good looking to like horrible. I mean, <laughs> she knows who I'm talking about. The little fat guy that wants to bang you so bad. Remember oh, my God. We went, to the, we went to the Academy Awards after party, and he didn't leave her alone. He wanted to take her up to his room. We're not going to tell him his name, everybody, no, but you can no, watch no, the movie no. Bruno, and then you'll know who we're talking about. Right. <laughs> so, Lady Lake, what do you think? Would you have given him a quick turn? No way. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys, it's Christmas. We got to talk about. Wait a minute. I want, where the hell did you get the name Lady Lake? That's her business oh. name. Oh, that's what. What's your real name? <laughs> I won't Cindy. tell the FBI. What's your my real name? name Cindy. Cindy what? Lapa? Cindy what? Yeah, no, my married name is Diadamo. That's my late husband's name. So you're not Italian? No, not at all. Oh, you poor thing. I thought <laughs> I thought you I thought you were Italian. Now no. I don't like now I don't like you anymore. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye for you. Yeah, right. So hold on, you guys, because our next guest is calling in in four minutes. Oh, my Let's God. do something Christmassy. Uh, all right, so it's Christmas time. How about everybody tell tell everybody who's listening and in the chat room your favorite Christmas song. You go first, Eileen. My favorite Christmas song. Um Probably an Adam Man. She, like, an Adam Adam she doesn't even listen to no, it. No, it's Adam Man singing, baby, I, let me bang your buck. <laughs> No, probably like like one of the We Are the World types. Isn't is, what, is there a Christmas, Christmas one? Christmas oh, yeah, there yeah. is a Christmas one. Yeah. Um, I forgot what it is, though. All right. You're, you're pretty late. You go. Yeah, because Eileen's answer is lame. Well, mine is a little bit more modern, but I like the Mariah, Mariah Carey one that's now came back out and hit. I think it might be even number one right now. Yeah, All, I number one. All I want for Christmas. Yes. Okay. I, I love Mariah Carey. He doesn't like her, but because she thinks she's. You know, the song years ago was All I Want for Christmas and My Two Front Teeth. Well, Eileen growing up used to sing it, but she changed the lyric. All I want for Christmas are my two front tits. And she got him. <laughs> she got her present. Santa was good. He gave her a present. Go. <laughs> who's, who's coming Twism in? Twism says she just released a Christmas song called Merry Christmas. My favorite Christmas song of all time is My Grown Up Christmas Wish. Oh, by yeah. By yeah. Amy Grant, and my favorite Christmas album is the Instinct Christmas album because it's awesome. I love <laughs> the is. most beautiful Christmas song ever written is Peanuts. What is that song? Oh, I Christmas time the Christmas. is I here. love and adore it. That song is so la, relaxing. La, la, it is so la, love. La. It just says, must you sing when I'm speaking? I'm about to vomit. Yes. And I don't want to throw up in my mic. Thomas Claxton oh, likes Happy did, Christmas Lady War Lady, is over by John I, Lennon. Why do you think I married him? No money. fabulous. No money. No 10 inches. <laughs> I mean, nothing. <laughs> So why, why did I marry him? I mean, 10 inches, you get married. It's nice. Money, you definitely get married. Eileen, I, life. Eileen, would you marry a guy with less than 10 inches? Um, no. She I has. <laughs> okay, well, you're a size queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says, Twizen released a Christmas song, you guys. O Tannenbaum in German and Last Christmas by Wham. Like, uh, Qu Th Twizen, Twizen Big Piece did that? No, he did a song. He said he just released a Christmas song. We have to listen to it. Thomas Claxton wrote Happy Christmas, War is Over by John Lennon. I don't even know what that is. I hate that song, The War is Over. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's Christmas time should be Christmas time. And I know. I wanted to go see Black Christmas, you guys. He's like, I'm not going to no. go see a horror movie on about Christmas. That's no, terrible. No. <laughs> my, very, my very dearest friend who I miss and love and adore was legend Jane Russell. And Jane Russell was a born-again Christian. And she used to tell me, Ron... The devil is all over. He's taking over. And I thought she was a little bit nuts. I never said anything to her. Well, I think Jane Russell's right. Demonic and evil is taking over. People love horror movies. They're make, mass making them. Everybody's into darkness and, and, and weirdness and vampires and ghouls. And now they've done it to Christmas. They brought the demon, the devil, into Christmas. And they're adoring it. 
And I think it's horrible. Christmas is a birth of, of a Jew, and the Jew is named Jesus Christ. <laughs> so all of you out there who hate Jews and you love Christ, you're a bit fucked up. But, <laughs> but you know, remember, remember, Christmas is about a Jewish boy who oh never who never was a Christian. God, that was he never funny. was a Christian. He never was a Catholic. He never blew a pope. He never did any of that stuff. He was just a, he was up. just a Jew who had a bar mitzvah who was smart knew what to do. The world then created Christianity after him, and they called it Christian after Christ. Is his name? His name is Jesus Christ, by the way. Christ is his last name. At least he was using it then before the cops were after him. <laughs> but, <laughs> and the Romans. I'm um, oh no jokes. Pat Graham, Christmas. Chat room. Hello, Chris, Pat. Christmas is a wonderful time. Let's not forget it's the birthday of Jesus Christ. Let's not bring demons into Christmas, please. Let's keep Christmas lollipops and Santa Claus and reindeer and candy canes and presents under the tree and maybe a prayer for Jimmy. That Mary Fairy will learn to drive up the hills to Big Bear. Yes, maybe you never know what's. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. know. All right, I, so I, I have to get in pampas if we do. Yeah, I can't go up. I threw up the last time we went up there about eight times. And like it's like a twenty, it's like a thirty-five minute drive, and they had to stop like eight times for me to throw up. I have to ask Lady Lake a boring question that I despise asking. Okay. Rarely do I ever ask it. Okay, Miss Lady Lake, what are you up to now? Right now? Right now I'm on your show. Don't get smart. <laughs> don't, Colin. Don't get smart or I give you a very Hi, short Colin. haircut when I see you. There was Colin. <laughs> Hi, Colin. Oh, there's Colin. That's big, long, Hi, fat. Colin. Bye, Colin. Yeah. Well, so my, my son is coming for Christmas from Washington, D.C., and then my friend is coming for New Year's from Baltimore. What's your friend's name? Who he's is not gonna, she's not going to tell Why? you Why? He's, he's the cop. Because... Yeah, he's like a very private guy. You guys will see. I'll give you pictures and everything. Wait a minute. Is he a celebrity? No, but he has kind of a prominent position, and so I can't really. Well, I, well, I hope he's not like a plumber or an electrician. No, not at all. There's nothing wrong with plumbers and electricians. Well, you marry one. You married a superstar. You didn't marry an electrician. <laughs> see, my mic has the star, if you notice. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. We like, we like notice. We want everybody to have fun. So, so uh, no wait. I want to ask, lady. Like, no, seriously, what's going on business wise? What's happening? Anything exciting you want to tell me? A movie, a play, a, Well, yeah. Well, we have a lot of new records coming out pregnant? next year. We have David Martinez with the new record coming out next year, and Yay. I really can't wait. He's so talented. His career really took off. I'm so proud of him, and I can't wait for his new record next year. Yay! You know David Martinez. We had him on the show. You loved him. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so so uh, so what's your face? Randy. Oh, so boobs. Uh, Eileen. Don't do that. To I her. couldn't think of her name. <laughs> but that's not, that's not. It's very offensive. How would we like it if we all called you? What, what could we call you? Mary Fairy. That's your you new name. You call me Mary Fairy all the time. <laughs> at home. He's used to that. No, you know what I call him at home? Rose May Ling or, yeah, he calls or me Ginger. Anything. Sometimes it's Hey Ginger. Or Mei Ling. I like Mei Ling if I'm in a Chinese mood. So, uh, so uh, Eileen, is Scott going to call in now? Did you yeah, tell him to call in? Wait, 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 wait. He's working wait, on it right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. Colin passed the screen. Colin, please come on camera. He's not I think he left already. Are you still here? Colin, we compared the Christmas tree to your penis. We want to <laughs> see if it's, if it's real. <laughs> if it's true. <laughs> you got to show us. If, if You got to lay on your back and make it go. He, so already, we can he already left. Sure, he did. He He's knew it was. He, he in knew. A lot of ways. That's okay. So while we're waiting, oh, in, for, in a lot of ways. Okay, we're while we're waiting for Scott Page to call us in. How about just this give, one? Just give huh? him a minute. That's give fine. Minute. Favorite Christmas movie? Go, Lady Lake. You go first. I have a lot. I really like Christmas Vacation because it's so funny. That was on the and other. And I also like Home Alone. It's kind of tied. Alone. Home Alone. Too. I like it happened on Fifth Avenue. Is that the one where they move into the house? Yes, I like that one too. It's a sleeper. It's about this old guy and his dog who's homeless. And in the winter time he goes to Florida and stays in these million No, and it's in the winter time he goes to the house on Fifth Avenue because the rich people are in Florida and he lives right. there. Then in the summertime he reverses it. And then he picks up a character a bunch of characters of people who start to live in the house with him. It sort of is a wonderful way to present homelessness to everybody today. 
how sad it is to be homeless and how happily this movie turned out because he and the people that came in became family. So Christmas wasn't a homeless person alone. And I'm not one of these political people. What's so. the other one that I like with Cary Grant? Oh, the, the Bishop's angel. Wife. The Bishop's Wife. I like I that love, one. I love, that's a good movie. I love that one, too, because I ball Cary Grant. If, if he rose from the dead right now, I would in front of Jimmy. I don't care. Actually, Rock Titan says he likes Debbie does the North Pole and Jenna Jameson rides the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Eileen Shapiro. <laughs> You guys, I've met Jenna Jameson, too. She's really nice, actually. No, seriously, Lady Lake, what's your favorite movie? Select one. She did. She just gave two. What? She told you. I didn't hear Home that. Alone. Oh, Home Alone. That's all right. What are they? Uh, oh, hey, look who. Now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with oh Ron Russell. God. Along with Cindy Lady Lake from uh, Cindy Diadamo from Lady Lake Music and Eileen Shapiro. Now we have the incredibly talented Scott Page. What's up, superstar? My saxophone, man. Oh, and his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott. Yeah, welcome sorry to the show. about that, guys. How are you, Merry baby? Merry Christmas. Merry I'm Christmas good. to I'm you. Hang on. Hang on. Now, listen up. Get over here. He's go- he said, hang on. He's going to get something. Oh, so. gonna- oh. I, got, I got it. We got to do Okay, God, I don't remember how this works. <laughs> of course, of course <laughs> not. <laughs> While you're trying to figure oh, it out, say hi to everybody in the chat room, Scott. Hi, everybody in the chat room, and I want to give a big shout out to B. B, you are awesome. Thank you so, so much for helping us out. She's been helping us with our charity event and putting stuff together. So I want to shout out to B and everybody else. Hello, everyone. There you go. George, now answer me a question. Jimmy and I were debating whether to invite you and uh, Wayne to our Christmas party on Friday. And Jimmy said you wouldn't come. And I said, why? He's too I big. I invited him anyway, and he didn't even see it. <laughs> right. you're, you're too, you're too famous. Right. You're would... too famous for us. You're too big. I hate to tell you. We no, have more. it's ce- not that. It's just. We have more it's celebrities. Not it's not that you're famous. I'm very honored to be uh, asked to come to your show, to come to your uh, Christmas party. The problem is I have to work Friday night. I'm stuck. I'm playing oh, a gig. Oh, what a good excuse that Are was. You pl- where, tell everybody where you're playing a gig. That way we can get a plug well, in. That, I'm actually playing a private Christmas event, so it's not oh. a place to go to. So nobody can see you. Oh, oh well. So you, now, no, you know, no. now you know that's Unless a bullshit. Unless you're invited to, the, to that event. Anyway, now we know that's a made-up excuse. Okay. It is. It's made up. I just made but, the whole But thing anyway, up. I want you to know that you were so wanted and so cared for Thank and so you. loved that we wanted you here amongst our big, famous movie star celebrity friends that are coming. We have a who's who list on our Friday party that you will faint from. But we can't tell you. We have you. about five of the number one soap opera stars in the world that are all coming. Ooh. Uh, Lady Late uh, knows all of them because I told her. <laughs> yeah, so we have a really star-studded Friday night Christmas party. Sorry you can't Ooh. come. And I'm sorry uh, that what? you had to make up that excuse to have a private party to go to. <laughs> it's tis the season to keep working. So, Scott, I don't know that you've ever met Cindy before. I don't know if you have, so say hi to Cindy. I think you can see her, right? You can see her. Cindy, say hi. You know what's happening? If I can, you know, you're a little blurry and they're a little goofy, but I'm hopefully I'm clear and we can see things. No, I don't see anybody else there other than I see Eileen's little uh, avatar up in the corner. Oh. Uh, avatar. Is, uh, well, that, is that what you call it, an avatar? I thought they called yeah. it a snatch. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Uh, men have different names for it. Some men call it pussy, snatch, or, you know, en- entry to heaven. But you want to call it. Oh. <laughs> so I'm supposed to say from the chat room, Scott B told me to make sure to please tell you to have a very Merry Christmas. Thank yes. you. Thank you, B. Now we'll get serious. How come yeah, I, I got don't- this? You ready for this? Yes, we're ready. What a puppet. I love That's a ZZ Top. There you go, Christmas. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> our, our, right. dog would love it. our dogs, our dogs would eat it. Our dogs would totally seconds. eat that. So, Scott, tell the truth. When am I going to see you again? What? Another event? We don't have socially Bro, socializing. Yeah, well, you, know, you, you guys are when? coming to Nam, right? You're coming to our yes, wild we are. Of course, but that, that's always it. But that's always an event. I get 10 minutes of talking to you, and then you're swept away by a crowd of crazy people. <laughs> well, really, who really got, think we you must know have how to... one of these days, for sure. I always yeah, enjoy I mean, talking to you, so I definitely, we definitely need to do a, 
a, a, a chat time where we can actually, you know, get into the meat of the matter. So to speak. I believe it because I really am fascinated how your fans gather around you. And they all say how well you play the saxophone. Of course, I disagree. But, you know, they all think you're fabulous. And I say, how did he ever get on Pink Floyd? You know, he must have a lot of money. And he probably produced all their shows. And he said, if you don't put me in the band, I'm not going to give you money. And they all said, sure, come on. So actually, no when, Scott, when Scott Page is playing the saxophone, no. There's somebody behind the curtain playing the saxophone, making believe it's Scott Page playing. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I hired Junior Walker. I hired Junior Walker to play behind me, right? Right. Meanwhile, I have an album, because now I'm on Spotify, and I'm going to get the name, and I'm going to send the name to you. It's all okay. saxophone music. Mm. It is to pop dead from. I mean, the saxophone makes you cry, laugh. It is the most incredible instrument, and as Scott knows, it's my favorite instrument, aside from piano. And Scott Page really can play uh, a mean, sorrowful saxophone. Thank and he you does. very much. Thank you, except, thank you for the kind Except words. for the time that Eileen jumped up on the stage and her breast went in the sax, and then of course it went <laughs> <laughs> So no, no music came out. But, uh, but she, had bru she had bruises all over her boob. So hold on. Let's make it so everybody else gets to talk a little bit. So, so Eileen, ask, ask a question to anybody on here because I know somebody else is getting ready to call in a sec. Ask some kind of a question just so we can hear other people talk besides Ron and I. Let's go. Why? Um, that doesn't show. Fuck that. No, that's <laughs> happening January 16th. There you go. <laughs> let's talk. Oh, about, I don't know. She talk just about that would be you, Scott. Yeah. That's you, Scott. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're real excited. We're doing a big event at the National Mu uh, Associated Music Merchant. It's called NAM, which is the largest tra uh, music trade show in the world. It's like basically the who's who shows up in Anaheim. Over 100,000 people come to this event. And on the Thursday night, we have, we've been doing nights after NAM kind of jam. This year, we're going to be doing uh, the, the dark side of the NAM. So we're doing a whole Pink Floyd thing with an all-star group of people at this killer venue which is called Highway 39. And what it is, is it's a, they call it a museum venue. It's all these beautiful antique cars set up oh. and keep stuff in the whole, it's like a, it's like an exhibit and show. And we're going to have every, just, I mean, we had a zillion of the top musicians on the planet coming to this that night. It's going to be an extraordinary evening. So that's January 16th, Highway 39. Uh, it'll be a Think Floyd and an a Power Logic production. And we're doing this in conjunction to raise money for uh, what we're building is the Watts Conservatory of Music. And we're doing this along with Flea from the Chili Peppers, Norwood Fisher from Fishbone, uh, and uh, uh, Paul Tolay, uh, the founder and owner of Golden Voice. And we're building this school. So this will be a fundraiser that night. So all the musicians are coming together. We're going to raise a bunch of dough. And we're going to have a blast at that show. So Thursday, the 16th, it's going to be incredible. Is that the three-day thing I'm going to? Yes. Yeah, and by the way, yep. that's, not, that's I'm, the night of one of the three day things that you're going. Through. Yeah, but I, I want to go. I want to be there for the car thing because I love old cars. Oh, oh, you're not gonna believe this place. You're gonna love this. Yeah, I mean, half of those cars I owned or I had sex in when I was young, so I'm gonna be familiar with all those cars. So, Scott, what's your real quick, Scott? We were talking about Christmas movies before. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh wow, you know that's a good question. I never really thought about it. Um. You know, obviously, a wonderful life is standard. It's like one that you see, but I, you know, I don't. I have to be honest. I really don't have a favorite Christmas movie. Because you don't watch television. I don't watch much television, to be truthful. I, I'm so far behind. One of these days, I'm going to see uh, Avatar. I promise. Oh, I hear well, it's a good our, movie. now our friend is in. Yeah, now. we we know the guy who plays the bad guy in good, that. I hear it's a good movie. They yeah, got three more him, coming out. Yeah, he said to us that to keep it a secret, but that's okay. That was a long time ago. That Not a secret. They already filmed them. They filmed. They were at that time going to film three more with him in it. Let's give his oh, name. Um, uh, Stephen Steve, Lang. Stephen Lang. Do you know Steve so, Lang? So, so listen. Don't know Steve Lang. Oh, what a nice guy! If ever you run into him, pal out with him. He's like you. 
He's a regular Joe, a sweetheart of a oh, guy. Cool. Super accomplished. Yeah, because, you know, when I interviewed him, I said, how do you feel about gay people? He said, what do I care? You're straight, you're gay. I don't care. And then they, I, I said, would you dance with me? He said, absolutely. And he got up and we slow danced together. Now, that's a straight <laughs> guy. No, that's a straight guy because gay men that are hiding it are so afraid of coming out that they would smack me. But a really straight guy that has no interest in other men will do stuff like that with a gay man. But Stephen Lang is a, is a sweetie pie of a guy wow. and a tremendous actor. Oh, how's his, is he a good dancer, though? That's the question. No, not at all. He had cowboy boots <laughs> picking me in the ankles. So now, now Scotty J from Rock Titan has a new best Christmas movie he wants to see called Dark Side of the Pole, starring Jenna Jameson. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's got a Jenna, Jane, Jenna Jameson fetish. Who's that? <laughs> Jenna Jameson. She's like a famous well, porn star. Who's fetish? Scotty J. Oh, Scotty J has a fetish for anything that walks and doesn't have a thing swinging between their legs. <laughs> I do. I really do. I mean, he's. I think he go, he he wants to go to Manhattan just to ride the subways. All right, Cindy, your turn. Ask a question. Wait, you know the joke about the subways? No. You know the joke about the sub? Uh, no. I was I was going to hairdressing school. I was eighteen or nineteen, and in the subway rush hour, it's so packed that all the pervs go on the subway. Oh, and, look! And as the subway <laughs> blocks, they touch. That's the joke. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, look now. What does he do? Now what does he, he do? Got Santa baby. Are you oh, Gail? Gail. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. How Everybody say hi to Gail. Hi. <laughs> don't put me on, please. We got to get John down here. Oh, so, you're already on sorry, because it's John. live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm Skype bombing. Will you get John? Oh, wait, what does Santa do? What does Santa do, Scott? What does Santa do, Scott? Santa needs batteries, I think. It's not on so uh, what far. Needs, I know, but it's on right now. Oh, you're, you're testing right now. Are, are we testing? No, we're not testing. We're doing this live. No, oh, no, oh, listening oh, to you right now. I apologize, everybody, for the so called Johnny's office. Scott, Scott. Good looking prop. I can't. I don't know why. The batteries are dead. Scott, listen. Scott, find more batteries. I want to see what it does. Right. Uh, wait, Scott, if Eileen were there, all she'd have to do is hold that Santa. The electricity oh. that comes out of her would get that Santa to <laughs> rotate. <laughs> That's beautiful, Phil. Hello? What does it do? It's not doing anything. It's sitting on my lap right now. That's it. Oh. It's oh. Just, sorry. They're hold just on. it. All right, you Gail. Do stuff. Yeah, yeah, to do stuff, but the Johnny batteries are not like. Hello, Soho Johnny hello. is here. He is good. here. Well, you could be. <laughs> hey, where's, where, where, where's Teeth? I call him Teeth. I love his teeth. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> yeah, I love there Johnny's you. smile. Johnny, give us now? a. <laughs> there you now, Johnny. Yes. Johnny. This we're the season. Yes, Johnny. Okay. We're friends, right? So for my Christmas party, would you lend me your top teeth? Absolutely. <laughs> Pop them out, baby. Go. Hold I on. I love your teeth. Are those teeth yours? Put them in the right to left. Yes, Wait, there are is. those teeth yours? Uh, I wish I, I I would fib if I say if I said that was true, but uh, no, I have some implants over the days. Yeah, I've had my battle scars. Is your penis yours too, or is it also screwing? <laughs> well, we try to uh, listen. It's a prostate is one part of a man's body. You can't work too much. You can't work too little. You gotta right in the <laughs> so hold on. Let's introduce you, everybody, to Johnny. You know most of the people on here, but we got we have Eileen on the line with you. Hey, Eileen Johnny. Shapiro, love hey, you. Yeah, we, we have Scott. We have, we have Scott Page from Pink yeah. Floyd. Scott, my guru, my mentor. How are you, Scott? I'm good, buddy. How you doing, man? All right. We're keeping it real. We're keeping it jolly. And we all have Cindy, right, right, Cindy right. Diadamo from Lady Lake Music, which you've never met. She's in the corner. How are you, Cindy? Cindy, Cindy going to say something. You. Don't wave. Say hello, Cindy. You can't wave. We can't see you. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> hey, okay. Hi, Johnny. Hey, hey, me, 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 me. Notice. What? Soho Johnny said he loves Eileen, and the other one's the guru. And when he greeted us, it was Ugats. We got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we're my dynamic duo. Yeah, we're the dynamic duo. They, and we also got to say hi to Danielle and uh, and Scotty J because they're uh, running everything for us. Oh, and also, uh, say hi to everybody in the chat room too, Johnny. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Oh, I didn't really listen. Really? Well. 
Hey, Johnny. Johnny. Hi, Johnny. That was you. Johnny. Scott here. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, what do you want for Christmas more than anything in the world? More than anything in the world? A thing, a thing not world peace or any of that bullshit. A thing, <laughs> an object. Ah, uh, that's a good question. A thing, an, an, I mean, an inanimate object. How about another helicopter? Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my buddy Tom would have a few comments about that. I think he almost had a heart attack last time I took him up. You know, which is funny. I'm not, going up, no, I'm, not, I'm not going up in your helicopter. You asked me. You invited me. I'll watch you go up. It'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was you, hilarious because when we went up, sure enough, with this guy that was really like he was just going to go in his pants, you know, and he's like, uh, you know, very religious and all this stuff. And he's saying prayers. And I'm saying, it's all right. People do this every day. And sure enough, what did you know about 10 minutes up into the flight? One of the red lights goes out. Oh. And it's one of the small little baby carriage helicopters. Where there's two of us in the back and two seats in the front, you can reach over and touch the pilot, right? So he's saying, What is that light? And he said, Well, we have to turn back. And he said, What happened? He's grabbing the pilot, the pilot says, and like, you know, we're my other friend and I, we're cool, but that was saying, if you continue that, you're gonna put us into an accident. But he was wonderful. Oh, that's scary. That's why Eileen doesn't she's not afraid to go in your helicopter. She told me. She said, if anything happens, I jump out, I hit the ground, I bounce a few times, and I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you got parachutes like that, baby, you're not afraid of flying. Hold on, we got to go back though. All right, so it's our Christmas show, Johnny, and everybody's been saying, "What's your favorite Christmas song?" and "What's your favorite Christmas movie?" Oh, uh, and Eileen never answered this, either. This <laughs> movie is to be jolly. Fa la la la. Okay. That's the one that just comes from the gut. You like Mariah Carey song? What movie is that? Uh, Mariah no, Carey. Oh. Yes. The one, the one, oh, that was the one that, um, that what's her name? The, uh, she, the talented. Mariah right, Carey uh, did it. The split. Yes, we, we saw that. And what's the movie? Give us a movie. Uh, a Christmas movie? Well, listen, I'm kind of old school. So which the one with Bing Crosby? Uh, uh, oh, white, white Christmas. White, white Christmas. That's is it White being, Christmas? That's not being old school. That movie is a legend. Classic. That's, that's going to be around for for eternity. Well, I love the legends. I watched the black and white version of the Marching Soldiers, you know, rather than yeah. the colored version. You know, I'd, I'd rather, uh, you know, I'm kind of traditional that that's way. It just gives you that with, feeling. With Laurel right. and Hardy. With Laurel and Hardy. The original. I love that. So hold on, you guys. So Billy Hess just joined us in the chat oh, room. No. So oh, on no. three, everybody say hello, Billy Hess. All right. One, two, three. Hello, Billy Hess. Hello, Billy. Yeah, and you guys really are on time there. <laughs> we love you, Billy. Now, for all of you out there, who, for all of you out there who do not like profanity or vulgarity or sexuality that's twisted, get out of the show now because Billy Hess is here. <laughs> here goes the show downhill. Woo! X-rated. XX. In the chat room, they're saying how we sucked. We were supposed to all do it on three, and we did it on like three, four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> that's, because, that's because there's a delay. In case one of you do something vulgar, like if Eileen whips out her breast or Soho Johnny whips out his wang, it's on a delay. So then we can edit it out, and you and the world doesn't see it. Yes, Ron, but you would not edit it out. We know that. No, I would because, <laughs> because, you know, oh, I want to congratulate us, everybody out there, in case you know, for the second time, we have been voted. Second week. Second Not week. voted. We what? had the most listens. Well, what the fuck is it? I don't know. Anyway, we guys, we made the top 100 podcasts on iHeartRadio for the second time. There's 750,000 podcasts in the world, and we were in the top 100. Did you believe that shit? Yeah. Ooh -ha. Ooh -ha. I wrote on great. I wrote Congratulations. On That's a big deal. Thank you. Yeah, thank no, you. No, but I wrote on Facebook, the show stinks. How come, you know, we're getting such a, a rating? I can't believe well, you know, because You know, it's because I'm on. That's <laughs> I did that. I did that. Actually, I think that you're Scott. I think you are the person who's been on the show the most. You and Bianca Ryan, who was the first winner of no, America's Eileen Got Talent. No, Eileen has been on. Oh, and Eileen. Well, she's, she's, she doesn't count because she's like. Eileen's family. She's not a client she's, she's, or anything. Yeah, she's like different. So. She's, she's, like, she's like an yeah. old shoe. You know, she comes to our house, she takes off her bra and panties, and she puts on a nightgown and walks around the house, and my neighbors all want to come in suddenly to have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she sits on the bar stool, but the nightgown is very short, and, and with her legs open on the bar stool, you know, they love to do 
They're just watching men choke on their coffee as they're drinking. One guy had a ganol and he was curious whether to eat it or. Well, anyway. Anyway, you guys, too, listen, you can follow all of us on Twitter. Johnny is at Soho Johnny LLC. Eileen is at Eileen Shapiro 3. Cindy is at Lady Lake Music. Scott is at I Am Scott Page. Ron is at Ron Russell's Show. And I'm at Dr. Jimmy Starr. Follow us on Twitter to keep uh, tabs of everything that's like going Wait, on with all of us. Aren't I on Instagram and the other bullshit? Yeah, but we're not do talking about Instagram right now. We're talking about Twitter. What What's Twitter? Anyway, <laughs> which one is that? Twitter. Don't worry about it. Twitter. Twitter. Uh, I remember Twitter. And, uh, Come on, that he, he tells me. And Cindy is uh, and Cindy's at Lady Lake Music, you guys, and and Lady Lady Lake, just say hi because you keep waving and like nobody hi, can hear anything. What, what's what, what, <laughs> what's up with the waving? No. Cindy has been on our Christmas show thought, every year, you guys. Every uh, year. We're very, very good friends, and uh, she's also a phenomenal um, music promoter. And and all the times when we. Uh, uh, get all these awards. Uh, it's usually Lady Lake Music is up for best promoter, and and Eileen and I are up for best PR. I, I so thought let me she ask was. Question. Yes. Is Lady Lake. Does it have anything to do with Monty Python? No. Lady of the Lake. Okay. No. Because that was a Monty Python what, bit. When right? you were doing this uh, with your hands, I thought you were shooing away flies while you were having a change of life mid flesh. That's funny. Uh, for everybody, no, listen that, up. That one bombed. We're going to forget that joke. Everybody in the chat room, just so you Whoa. know, uh, because there's so many people and there's more coming, the screen is going to keep changing all the time. So you're going to see different people all the time because it's not big enough to show everybody at one time. So just so everybody knows, that's what's going well, on. Well, we're doing four at a time. That's like Eileen. She can do eight, four, eight, ten at a time. Right, Eileen? No problem. Well, well, interview I'm no talking problem. about. <laughs> Filthy minds. I meant interview. Eileen can interview a room full of well. people. <laughs> Right. So, I, so the other night I'm at I'm at Johnny's party and who comes out? Johnny is an elf. It was the cutest oh, elf I saw in my whole life. I want a picture. I, I have it. I have it. Oh, I, I want it on oh, Facebook. I it all over ah, me. Johnny boy, there he is. I didn't do Facebook this morning because I was busy setting up for our party. But um, yeah, I want that picture. I'll show it. Oh, Johnny so and Scott, do you know each other's there? I'm sorry. Say that again. Scott and Johnny, do you know each other is there? Like, do you know that you're both on and you're both yes, there? Yes, yes, we can, we can, can see, see each Johnny other. now. You know, she's from Long Island. It's a special accent. <laughs> Only. <laughs> oh my God! Look at him. Oh, I know who to send this to. I got a bunch of guys in Brooklyn that would love to get this picture. <laughs> Johnny, you look great as an elf. And, and uh, people in the chat room, some of the people in the chat room went to the, the Soho Johnny's uh, holiday, rockin' holiday soiree this past weekend featuring Leon and the Peoples and Kim Sledge and all kinds of people. And they said that you sang phenomenally, that you did a really great job uh, singing and that they enjoyed it very much. So congratulations on that. Yeah, I want to hear you sing. Everybody's carrying on how good you are. I haven't heard you yet. Did you know that? I recorded it, Ron. I'll send it to you. Yeah, please. Because no, Jimmy doesn't do anything. I, I don't belong in this world. You know, Wednesday, he said to me, you got 10 minutes. You know, shave, comb your hair, look decent. He knows that. It had the show. He's been on the show for eight years. He knows it's at the same time every Wednesday. And he, like, knows it's the show morning because he sees all the equipment set up. So it's not, I, I can't, like, babysit yeah, but he the has time. To, he has to understand. I'm in the business 58 years. I have been in show business where I was going to go on stage to 350 people, and it's five minutes before the, the, the show starts, and they can't find me. You know, I'm doing something. I don't need a lot of time to go on stage. I'm going to ask that question to every one of you, except for Eileen, because she doesn't go on stage. She usually works from an apartment on Third Avenue, second floor. But... <laughs> <laughs> no. But anyway, um, I don't need time. I never get nervous. I'm always dressed in costume and ready. Johnny, how are you? Five minutes before? Five minutes before for what? The, uh... Before performance. Like, where are you before they call you out? And now Soho Johnny. Oh, you mean dur during, I mean, last Saturday during the performance? Any I'm, performance? Uh... I'm engaged with everything. I mean, I'm just like, I got trying to keep my fingers on everything. And I'm just, I'm just so motivated by the excitement and, you know, all the, the energy that comes from the audience just is so beautiful. And it's just, it's wonderful. It's, it's what motivates me. The yeah, charity. Of course. At the last event, you and I were gabbing down in the green room and you forgot <laughs> to go on stage. 
<laughs> so, oh, you were so engaging. I, I was I, enraptured. I, I, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. And Scott but, was calling him, we're Soho, Johnny. We're and Soho. And I Soho's, couldn't hear a thing. Soho's bullshit. We're Soho. Ron, Russell down in the basement. You, Paige, five minutes before you have to blow the sex, where are you? Close to the stage. <laughs> I mean, waiting to go on or doing something like Yeah, we're, we're, you know. Yeah, we're outside hanging out, waiting for the show to get started. Five minutes, wait for the call. We're all chatting. Um, that's about it. Really, not okay. too much. You know, we do this uh, so much. You just just got to make sure you're at the right place at the right time. That's it. Okay, a little bit of Hollywood history. Legend Joan Crawford made a million movies from the 20s, all right? She needed at least an hour to an hour and a half before she went on any live performance to get herself ready because she would perspire, vomit, get dizzy. Her eyes would flutter. She was a total wreck. Joan wow. Crawford, that movie star, right? Film, not really. She was good for film, but anything live. And of course, she drank Pepsi, which was really vodka. <laughs> so she had the courage to go on set and guess who told me that Betty Davis that, uh, Betty Davis really hated her she would dish Joan any chance she got I'm, it was not me alone it was a room full of about 12 gay guys so every gay guy was hanging there with his tongue out waiting to hear what Betty Davis's next word would be because those queens lived for Miss Davis she was their, their goddess I, and, and they, I remember yeah, something about that. With there wasn't there like somewhat of a like a little bit friction between her. Was it uh, whatever happened to Baby Jane? Was that the? Yeah, right? I, never, I I spoke to her in private about that. She said, "Luckily, we were never photographed together. They made sure they shot them separately." When Joan Crawford was supposedly speaking to Betty Davis, the camera it was not a two shot. They did one shot, single shots. I love so that movie. Ron the, told me it's a shitty the, movie, the, but the I minimum, love it. <laughs> well, Betty said, you know, to everybody at the party, she said, "Folks, I needed the money." And Hollywood was no longer the Hollywood that I knew or respected or did the work that we did. So I had to keep up with the time, she said, and I needed the money. And she got $65,000 for that movie. So wow. hang on a second. Hang on, Eileen. That's all. We, yes. we, we lost Noah and Olga. They're working on it. Okay, they're working oh, on it. All right. Olga, oh, where's my pot? <laughs> I'll go, where's my pot butter? Okay. Johnny, did you know somebody stole my pot butter that Olga made for me at the yes. last year? Yes, I remember you told me. And I was so afraid that person's dead now. Because, <laughs> no, Olga said, the tip of your fingernail is all you take every day. She mm. did it for medicine, for medical reasons. I bet you some jerk got it, said, oh, pot butter, and spread it on bread with jelly. Ooh. And now it's dead. Because <laughs> you will OD. <laughs> <laughs> From oh, that, that's a nice thing to say. On well, that's what, you get, that's what you get for stealing, you son of a bitch. I mean, you know, you don't steal. I, I was very, and she specially made that because I have like a little bit of arthritis in my fingers. You know, turning fifty, you start to fall, fall apart. And Scott, do you have arthritis? Because you're a saxophone player. Like your, your I hand, do. You, you can look at my poor little fingers. They're like not good. You see? Yeah, but Scott does enough pot that he don't need fingers. He don't know need pot butter. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, that's the last thing he needs is pot butter. You gotta like but love anyway, it. Everybody in the chat room loves your Santa Claus, by the way. I know. I figured I'd bring him out here to sit around in my lap here. That's good. You know, sometimes every once in a while I give him a big kiss. There you go. Oh, there we go. See, you guys, Scott Page has a little gay tendency. See, I there. told he likes, you. He I likes told Santa you. Claus. He likes I, Santa. I told you I have to worry because he likes old men. <laughs> yeah. I love Santa Claus. So Santa Claus is a cute old man. So you got to like love it. So wait, I'm going to talk to oh, Soho. Yeah, Jimmy, I got to drive Soho a little crazy. Soho. Rumor, yes. rumor has it that at your event, you were serving the most fabulous food. I've had uh, some good compliments there. It's my friend Anastasia over at the uh, Castle of Femme. Yes. He didn't put out like that Mexican shit. What is it called that they put the, the tacos in? Oh, he doesn't like salsa. He salsa. hates it when people put out, puts out salsa and I chips. Mean, what, he is, hates what do they think? <laughs> we, we, we want piles the next day? But no, I heard your food was really good. And Eileen was very impressed by the whole event. She didn't stop raving about it. <laughs> well, the the owner of the place is a friend of mine, and I'm I'm I, I'm sure he probably where'd, went all. Where'd you hold it? Where where in Jersey did Castle, you? Hold? That was in New York, Castle of Femme. I was in the West Greenwich Village in Manhattan, on 140 Charles Street, Castle of Femme. 
I know it well. I know it well. That's my old neck of the woods. I used to run around there and drag when I used to do drag shows. Yeah. Hey, hey, hang on. Hey, hey, Scotty J. Yeah. Is anybody else calling in? Because there's two other people that should be on the line with us now. No, no listen, listen. In. No isn't home. Okay, but I, Lorraine Landon was supposed to be calling oh, in. Oh, my love girl. Uh, which, I so think Johnny Lorraine and Scott will love Landon them. is the sexiest woman on this oh. Earth. If I was straight, I would be like Robin Banks to make millions of dollars to keep her because she is the most gorgeous woman, sexy, sweet, kind, warm, innocent, and a brilliant friggin' actress. I mean, I understand in her film that we're going to the red carpet, she plays a wild, crazy, drunken bitch that's evil and mean. And I thought, my Loreen? Loreen is like a baby doll. She's so soft and sweet. The sexiest woman in the world. Now, if I were married to her, I would never have gone gay again. I would have stayed straight. And Jimmy would have had been walking the streets looking for somebody else because I wouldn't be here. And he'd be just getting some piece of shit instead of me. <laughs> Keep talking. Where is my Loreen? I'm devastated that Loreen cannot come to our party. And she's devastated, too, because she's filming... Well, I'm talking about Christmas shit. Lorene is doing a Christmas movie, make believe. <clears throat> anyway, she can't come to up. A lot of people are working that can't. CC uh, uh, Pennison, she wanted to come to our party so bad, but she's in Atlanta, Georgia, doing something down there. And she said if she gets out of there in time, she'll fly from Atlanta directly to Palm Springs and make our party. I mean, we have uh, got we have wonderful uh, friends. We got really good people. We I love mean, CC. I adore her. She's like we my new. We love her. Oh yeah, she's my new best friend. We talk all the time. We face wait, each other. Wait, 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 wait! That thought that was me. Who's that talking? Scott. Scott. No, no way, Scott. Now, how no. do I feel? <laughs> no, no, not about you, Scott. Look Trust at Santa. Me. He's definitely dismayed with this whole conversation. It's very sad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have to make time because Jimmy went to call Lorene. I don't know why. But anyway, um, yeah. So we have great friends and and good celebrity friends. And PR World really is a good company to go to. I have to say that bullshit, too. Uh, if you are out there and you, you're a nobody and you want to be a somebody, then you have to go to uh, Star World. What is it called? World Star PR. Well, you have to go to World Star PR. Because I got to tell you something. They are a duo that's outrageous. Eileen and Jimmy work their asses off morning, noon, and night. I know. I live with Jimmy. That fucking phone is ringing at 11 o'clock, <laughs> 10 o'clock. I mean, his clients have no class or style because they call whenever the fuck they want and they annoy the shit out of me. We could be eating dinner and Jimmy has to drop the phone in the restaurant, run out in the car to talk to these sons of bitches. I mean, really and truly, you know, change your profession. Go go be truck drivers. They pay well. Jimmy, what? What's going on? You just got KO. Lorraine. Hi. Oh, oh, Hello. look. Look, we got, got the two the two glamour broads. Lorene, my darling, kisses. I love and adore you. Mm. Are you not the hottest? And, and Kadrosha. Hold on, everybody. I mean, so I, now we want to tell everybody who's on the line. So Lorene and Kadrosha, you guys, this is actress Lorene Landon, and this is Kadrosha Ona Carol. She's the queen Hi, of the paranormal. Uh, and on the line right now, listen, we have Eileen Shapiro. You can't see it, but they're, they're moving it all around. We have I'm Lady Cindy Lady Cindy Lady Lake. Let Cindy say hi. Hey guys. Yay! Then we have hi. Scott Page from Pink Floyd. Say hi. Hi. And we have Soho Johnny. Say hi. hi jolly, guys. jolly ladies. Hey, there Merry we go. Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. We also to have you, a chat room darlings. full of people. So Kadrosha and Lorene, say hi to everybody in the chat room. Hi, everybody in the chat room. Yay! Hi. You too, Kadrosha. Merry Christmas, everybody. Kudrosha. Chat room. Kudrosha, wake up. She seems frozen. Kudrosha, she's frozen. frozen. Oh, she's, she's frozen. frozen. That's why she's not sitting there. <laughs> I don't know why that's doing I, that. I, I thought, hey, there I, she is. I thought someone cast a spell on you and froze you. <laughs> listen, <laughs> no. listen. What's doing, Cardoshola, with the comic book? What? Freeze Hi. again. Hi. What's, what's going on with the comic book? I don't book? know if we can hear Kudrosha. Oh, say something. 
what we're going to do is we're going to do a relaunch of Celebrity Ghost Hunters. And that's going to be come probably start the excitement at the end of January and then go for it um, at the beginning of March. And then this way we have the 30 days to, you know, do the Kickstarter and get that ghost story out. in oh, comic. Cool. Okay, now talk about me for a change. Um, <laughs> I, want, I, want you, I, want you to, I want you to tell everybody what you've got going for me, the things that you've... I'm in airports, by the way, bullshitting. If you want to sit in an airport and listen to me talk about how I met Jane Russell, thank you, Kardashian, for that. Control show. the fuck ever her name is? Some stupid <laughs> name. I hate her Queen name. of the paranormal. I, I hate her name. I call her K. K-O. It's okay. K-O is okay. K-O. I do K-O, you know, but sometimes I slip and do K-Y, and that's a little vulgar. But I anyway. Don't no, I, don't, no, I, don't, I don't mind K-Y. No, I don't, really, really, really. What the fuck was your mother thinking when she named you Kadoshala? Kadosha. I don't know. Where did that name I, come from? What What Russian country? What vampire? Well, Sounds like it, vampire. Is what? Polish on the Russian border, and the Ona is Onastasia, and that is Lithuanian. So Karosha Ona is a uh, Polish and Lithuanian. So, I, have, I have news for you. Wait a minute. Good I'm thing Polish. you're so good thing you're so beautiful because that saves your ass. Because that <laughs> that name that name never would have went. So hold on, everybody. Kadrosha is at Queen of the Para on on uh, Twitter. Lorene Landon is at Lorene Landon. Uh, she's actually going to a Hundra uh, signing this weekend or something. If you see the poster behind her, is Hundra. She is Hundra. She's the star of the film. She's a movie star, and she's got two big movies coming out at the beginning of the year: Nations Fire and yes. Agamon's Gate. And she's fabulous. And she broke my heart. How? Guess oh. You're not coming to my party Friday. I, I can't. Won't. I'm leaving at five o'clock in the morning. I, I no excuse. You're just like Wayne. You make up. All, I'm not Wayne. Um, what's his name? Scott. Scotty. Scotty. You make up excuses. Well, going? <laughs> Tell me again how much you love me and how much you wish you could be at my party. I love you more than life. Good. I love you back. I Let's love you back. more than anything except my rescue dog. That's right. Oh, Congratulations okay. on now, your new rescue now, dog. Now, now listen Izzy to me. Izzy the termite. She ate the whole damn doghouse. Did you see that? Did you see she ate the couch? She ate your whole couch? I'm like, oh she my ate, god. She ate half the couch. Yeah. Oh, half you the could, couch. You could, you could climb in the couch, and you wouldn't. It's on my Facebook page. You could climb in the couch, and the cops would not find a body for six months. That's how he. Huge the hole is. I don't care. She's a rescue. Yeah, they, they come Our with, three rescues are eating all kinds of shit. They, <laughs> they, they come with problems. Rescues yeah, do. Yeah, so, I, have, I have three rescues, and they're pro they get a lot of problems, you know, because we rescued them. Of course. Well, they're insecure, and when you leave them alone, they get vicious and evil, like Jimmy. If I leave Jimmy alone too long, he'll eat a sulfur also. Yeah, you never know. So <laughs> wait, I gotta get back. Hang to on, my does Scott, do you have up. any animals? Scott, do you have a dog? I have a dog. Yes. Yeah. So her Johnny. It's, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a it's a combination Portuguese water dog and a poodle. It's a water what? doodle. Oh, I like that. That's cute. So ho Johnny. So ho Johnny. Do you have a dog? Currently, no, but I've always had Bashan. I'm due for my next one. Oh, there you go. Okay, Kadrosha has rescue. three. We know Eileen doesn't have. Eileen doesn't have a dog. Cindy, do you have a dog? I have a grand dog. No, no, she has a dog. My son has a dog. Okay. <laughs> a grand dog. Grand dog. I love that. It's so cute. <laughs> she was always calling, you know, that, that Jimmy. He's a dog. Eileen's mm -hmm. always said on. Jimmy's a dog. I thought that was her dog. That's right. That's right. I am. A technical problem. Technical problem. What? Lorene, lift your screen Lower it. We we'll only have your your head. We don't have the rest of you. There you go. No, just sit up straight. That's no. Good. Or lower your stand. There you go. The cleavage. Yeah. We need. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Johnny's There we go. Now, now the sisters are happy. Oh yeah, there we go. Lorraine, if I dump Mary Fairy, and marry you. I yeah. promise I won't trick guys. I'll only ball you as my wife. Would you? Would you marry me? <laughs> Of course, I would marry you. I'll marry you. You're my favorite person. 
Oh, you're yeah. my favorite person. I'm no bullshit out there, people. No, 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 no. You and Jim are my favorite people in the world. Oh, so when you look at her, you think to yourself, who is that conceited bitch? She must be a real piece of work. Look at her walking around, gorgeous, with big tits, a gown, gorgeous shoes. Look at her. She thinks who she is, and you want to smack her down and knock her around and call her a bitch. But when oh. you get to you, but when we get to know you, when we get to know you, Bitch, I'm, I'm a, a cunt. I'm not a bitch, I'm a cunt. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, where is the PC police? Where is the PC police? <laughs> you didn't hear the joke. I was saying when we look at you for the first time we meet you, we think you're a bitch and no good. But after we get to know you, we find the kindest, sweetest, most gentle, delicious love of a human being in the world. I love I'm you. I truly love you. I'm no Hollywood Canada. bullshit. I'm from Canada. I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> no Hollywood bullshit. No. no love I, each other. I just live here. That's it. You I don't have I don't hang out with people like you, Ron. I mean, Jim I mean, says he's wearing sweatpants right now in in the studio, and that he's hoping that his wife doesn't walk in. <laughs> <laughs> now, boy, boy, I love the Santa Claus with Scott. There yes. you go. Santa hey, Claus is really hey, um, rocking. Hey, uh, Scotty J, uh, make make Scott disappear for a second and put put uh, Eileen up there for a second so we can have three sets of boobs. Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> I can't see any of this. Unfortunately, I only see you guys. Scott back, but we got to like... Well, Kardashian, whatever her name Control is. Control Shaw. Control Shaw. Oh, yes. KC has the... K.O. Uh, K.O. has the sisters hiding a little bit because she wanted to give us temptation. <laughs> Uh, now, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, open the blouse a little more. Let the sisters breathe. <laughs> the sisters are suffocating. Open that top of it. In a second, Sadie's calling in, and we'll have four. <laughs> Sadie, watch it. Sadie should whip a top up and sit there tit naked. Sadie doesn't give a shit. So, <laughs> Sadie would like, sit there. It. Oh, look at this. Soho Johnny's salivating. Get tissue, honey. <laughs> wipe your mouth. Wipe your mouth. You got spit he too is <laughs> <laughs> who does have a show with pants like this on it? I mean, nobody. Look at this. We got the best of the tomatoes. Look at them. Gorgeous. Oh, oh, maybe I'm these are not my so plastic explosives, I call them. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm not so gay anymore. <laughs> so, put the lights all oh. over you. That's so cool. I like the lights. You look, you're all lit up. You're on fire. You're oh, like, anyway, I, uh, just, Kari. I just put my Christmas lights on. Carol. I, I didn't, that's a great look for you. Here's, hey, my, Carol. Christmas. Here's my Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Carol. Nice. Ow. Carol for a minute. There's a, 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 a ranch up in the high mountains here that is supposed to be so haunted. Also well, haunted with the ghost of Gene Autry. Well, and I would think, wait, wouldn't it be wonderful if, if we'd fly out and we could do a show up at the ranch? In, oh, in the I would love that. And maybe... Yeah. You could pick hey, up no, the, okay, oh, you would the, love it. that Gene Autry is saying. No, we did a wonderful thing in a crazy house on Long Island, a fabulous show. And we got three, three, almost 300,000 views. Yeah, and I think at the ranch we would get more because it's all broken down and spooky looking. And I, uh, I, I love that little tree that uh, you just showed over there, that, little, that small humble tree. But it may be small, but it's not the size of the tree. It's one underneath. It's what's underneath it. That's right. Well, I have no I didn't Size, I so. didn't get a Christmas tree because I'm leaving uh, uh, Saturday morning to go up to Portland for a big Hundra retrospective Q and A Q and asshole Q and a hole. All right, all right. What do you? What do you? Wait, wait, wait! wait. Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to promote. What are you doing after? How long are you going to be gone, bitch? I can't stand you anymore. How long are you going to be gone? Uh, probably about two, three weeks. Wow. I, want, I was going to invite you to a New Year's party. I'm going. I'm going up to Portland to do the hundred big whoopie do, and then I'm staying with my sister Charmaine, who's an incredible artist. Look up realartstudios.com. She sells her paintings. She does the Mona Lisa, the Rembrandt. Here's what my sister did when she was five years old. Look, you get to see ass now too. <laughs> 
Hey, Scotty J, I think Sadie's calling in. <laughs> Sadie. Yeah. Oh, she did the Mona Lisa. Is that a guess? Oh. I love it. So she she's so what? she's wanted by the cops, right? Because she makes she makes phony paintings and sells them as real. Oh. I have a couple. I have a friend she that did paintings. that for. A long time. She makes real paintings. Wow. Sing Sing now painting. Yeah. <laughs> he's painting bars. He, he's a famous artist. All he paints is iron bars of the of the jail in Sing Sing. But listen, wow. put Sadie, get, get rid of Scott and the and the Santa. Put Sadie in. So Sadie's dying. Oh in this my God, it's a party. Sadie. Wait till Sadie gets Sadie. it. Now it really Oh, oh! No, more food, more food. <laughs> Look at this. It looks like a Whoa. Sadie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yay. Wait a minute. Soho Johnny's about to have a stroke. Look at his face. <laughs> I mean, he's smiling so high his face is going to crack. So hold on, hold on, Sadie. Oh Sadie, God. listen up, Sadie. Woo! Sadie, welcome. First of all, let me say, you got to say hi. There's a lot of people on the lines. You have Eileen Shapiro. Say hi. Oh, hey. Then you have uh, Cindy Cindy Lady Lake. Hi. You hi, have, hi. You have Scott Page from Pink Floyd. Oh, oh my goodness! You have Kadrosha, Ona Carol, Soho Johnny, Lorene Landon, Ron and I, and Danielle and Scotty J. Oh my God! This is a part. I feel like I'm in like one of those crazy chat rooms. I think we are. We are. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a masturbation uh, room for horny old guys. And real quick, too, Sadie, say hi to the chat room because Dave from Stars Now UK is in there and he's been jerking off the whole time. And he oh loves my God, hand check. <laughs> hand check, hand check. <laughs> what are you doing with that Santa Claus? Where's your sex? <laughs> no. Sadie, I, yes. love, I love the headshots that are oh, on Facebook. You. They're natural, they're beautiful, they're not glamour puss shots, they're Sadie Katz stripped, and I like that look, and I love you, and I want you to know if you were with Miles, I would marry you, but since Lorene is single, I want to marry Lorene. <laughs> yeah. Is it, it, it's hard to get headshots though, isn't it, because you don't want them to do too much, much right? Yeah. Look how you change the subject from me marrying you to your fucking headshots. Ah, like an answer. Like an answer, though. There you go. Meanwhile, I love you as much as I love Lorene. You're my favorite girl, too. So how, co how come you're not coming to my Christmas party, bitch? Make up an excuse real quick. I, I want to come. Miles is flying in, so I'm trying to figure out if we can pick up Miles and then come to Palm Springs. Yes. Tell, tell Miles to fly to Palm Springs. Oh, wouldn't Miles? that be cool? Who's Miles? That's my fiance. You just never see him. Lorraine, do you have are your tits flashing? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a show is this you've got me on? <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> this is why I was gonna have a glass of wine. <laughs> He's like, I need a glass of vino. <laughs> Your hair looks perfect. It's <laughs> up, Hang on, we want to get uh, Eileen. Say hi, cause we can't we can't see you at the moment. Say hi to uh, everybody. Oh, Eileen. Is that it? I'm trying to bring you. Up. Oh, Eileen, your hair is lovely. Thank okay. you. Marine, what a Thank you. <laughs> so fabulous. Meanwhile, Soho hasn't stopped smiling. I'm he's gonna have a. Major, major attack of something. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do they have boobs, but they're beautiful. You know, some girls are ugly. They think they throw in like 44D water bags. They're going to be beautiful. <laughs> no, they sideways. They look like weird, like a, like a toothpick with two olives. But you girls are beautiful. Each one beautiful in a different way. KC looks like. The, the intellectual, sexy, a uh, businesswoman with great tits. Say, Pats, my sweetheart, is the girl that you want to protect, give jewelry to a beautiful home, a role for her. You, know, you want to pamper her, you want to spoil her because she's a kitty cat. Lorene is just so outrageously fucking beautiful. You want to sit in the middle of the dining room table and stare, and at, stare her. at her <laughs> like, for the whole night.
And if she opens her it's, legs, it's Maybelline and dental floss. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> what you said? No, no, you girls are all very beautiful and very successful. Kate, Casey is a fabulous medium. I worked with her. She's wonderful. She's real and she's good. I've worked with my Sadie, who is a brilliant actress. Trust me, folks. No smoke up your ass. No bullshit. Go see a, a movie called, what's it called? The one that we're in together? Oh, boy. Clown, I'm clown I'm Fear. Watch Sadie do a wonderful performance. I don't know why they named it Clown Fear, though. I'm so upset about it. Yeah. Who's well, excited? No, she said she doesn't know why they named it Clown Fear. I like Circus Road better because that's the plot. I sent yeah. people down Circus is, Road. Is to get Casey going to give us readings for the, oh. the new year? Probably is not while on the spot? I don't. <laughs> now, now, my other baby doll, who is sweet and kind and gentle... When I heard what she was playing with, what's his name, the actor? The Bruce first, Dern. Bruce Dern. I thought, Lorene can do that? She's an outrage. I want to let you tell it. A drunken bitch. Tell them who you are in that movie, Lorene. Well, well Chris, Chris brought a stars in the film, and I play her mother, and uh, her son has been murdered, and so she's on a quest to find the real killer of her son, and Bruce Stern plays my husband, my much older husband in flashbacks. Tom Proctor plays my husband now. So, it's, it's a fabulous role, directed by Thomas Churchill, and um, anyway, I'm leaving Saturday morning to go to Portland uh, for a big hundred thing, then spending time with my sister Charmaine, and then I'm flying to Branston, Missouri, and doing a movie called Sorrow's Way. I star in the film, and it's directed by Ben Lawson, who wrote a fabulous script, the best script I have ever read in my entire life. I'm on, it, I'm on every single page. She's unhinged, she's crazy, it's nihilistic, and um, the town, town of Rockaway Beach, and the mayor, the mayor of Branson and Rockaway Beach are well <laughs> welcoming us with open arms and Rex Wood and I am so excited to go. To good, good. Now, say, Sadie. Four degree weather and I play this woman, I play this woman that has lost everything, absolutely everything in a horrific accident except my daughter who will never forgive me. Okay, let, let, let us have a little of the fucking plot to go see. I mean, we don't have to hear the whole movie now. Shut up, you beautiful creature and sit there and smile and look divine. <laughs> Now, Sadie, Sadie, now listen to this. If you're a good actor, you know, they might hire you to do a film in Santa Monica, like two minutes from your house, because you could take a bus to get to the set. But in Sadie's case, Genoa, Italy, and the producers and directors of film in Italy wanted Sadie Katz to come to Italy and make a movie. And she did. And I think the movie's going to be brilliant because I know the plot. I saw it. And Sadie's work has got to be great. And the movie, wait, what is it called again? The Emma. No, what's the woman's name? Megan. Like, like Lorena. Lorena. Sean, see if you can turn it sideways. Sean, see so if you can turn sideways. I'm, I'm more excited to see it because my family yeah. comes from Genoa. And I lived in Genoa for a long time. Right. So, so seeing Genoa and seeing Sadie together is going to be a thrill. Okay, stop for a second. All right, everybody. Sean, say something. Let's make sure we can hear you. Hey guys, happy holidays. All right, so everybody, now we, happy Hanukkah, got, baby. Now we have superstar happy Sean Kanan calling in. Sean, let me tell you everybody who's on the line. You have actress okay. Sadie Katz, actress Lorene Landon, medium Kadrosha Ona Karol. We also have um, Scott Page from Pink Floyd, Eileen Shapiro, oh, wow. who you know. We have uh, Cindy Diadamo from Lady Lake Music. Please say hi to Cindy because she loves you. Say hi to Cindy. Hi, Cindy. I'm honored to be with such an illustrious group of creatives. And we have, did yeah. I miss somebody? You missed me, you fan. You, besides you. Did I miss anybody, Eileen? Soho Johnny. And Soho, Soho Johnny. Johnny. Oh. Yes. Yes. Meanwhile, for those of you who are not watching, who are listening, Sean Kanan is probably one of the most gorgeous men in the world today. Yes, he is. I'm he is absolutely yeah. the, the handsomest with a beautiful body. Uh, and up with good lighting, guys. Shut up, <laughs> shut up before I smack you. And so also, so he's so the so sweetest so guy so in the world. Now, wait a minute. Let me finish. I hate every one of you. Uh, <laughs> he's wonderful, terrific, and all that bullshit. But guess who's better than him? By yeah. a mile. 
his wife. My wife. Oh, I love and enjoy Michelle. Another Italian. Oh, she's the best. I love her. So I'm hang so on. Happy. Shut hang up. I'm talking. On. Let me let me go. I, know. I gotta go. Hang on. So Sean, first of all, say hi also to the chat room. We do got you, a chat room full of people. Stop. Stop. And then you guys want Sean came on to wish everybody a Christmas, but also he's got a big announcement to make, and uh, I wanted him to like make it now because it's kind of he's got a big thing coming out on Friday. So tell everybody real quick, and then we're gonna go back to, to chatting. Oh, I've, I've got a new digital series that I've created. It's called Studio City. Uh, I partnered with director Tim Woodward Jr. It's gonna come out on Amazon tonight at midnight, which is actually ah. tomorrow. Uh, six episodes, all six episodes. It stars. Myself, Tristan Rogers, Patricia Darbo, Carolyn Hennessy, uh, and Sarah Joy Brown, three-time Emmy Award winner. And you know what? I've been working on this for years. It's about a, an aging soap star dealing with life in front of the camera and uh, and off the camera. It's funny and it's poignant. And you can watch it on Amazon Prime. And we hope everyone will watch it. Oh, cool! All right. All right. Hey. And it's called Studio City. You guys, and he plays America's favorite TV doctor on the second biggest soap opera. I watched two episodes of it. It's hilarious. It's really a lot of fun. Everybody's going to love it. And you can follow Sean Kanan on Twitter at Sean Kanan. You can follow Sadie Katz at Sadie underscore Katz, I think. Lorraine Landon is at Lorraine Landon. Kadrosha is at Queen of the Peril. Lady Lake Music. Cindy Diadamo is at Lady Lake Music. Oh, Eileen Shapiro shut up. is at Eileen Shapiro 3. <laughs> Soho Johnny is Soho Johnny LLC, and Scott Page is I am Scott Page. You know what? Let them figure it out themselves. No, they need to know because we want all. Everybody wants to get followers. Oh, anyway, and he's Ryan on Russell's show. Oh, who gives a shit? Anyway, follow him on Twitter. Come on. Yeah, follow me. I'm so happy. Follow me on Twitter, Lorraine Landon. Please follow me on Twitter. I'm so happy that Sean and Michelle didn't come up with a fake excuse not to come to our Christmas party. Oh, I can't wait. You can't wait. I can't wait I'm either to give to my, my Michelle a big hug and you a You know me. I'll kiss. do the dishes when I get there. No, no. I can't wait to <laughs> hug Michelle and soul kiss you. But <laughs> soul kiss. Hey, I'm 53. Why I'm not? Let I'm me tell you something. <laughs> Try. You may buy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. meanwhile, meanwhile, Sean, I don't know if you could see on your screen, but you're surrounded by tits. Two, four, six pair of beautiful tits all around you. And you, and you can four young ladies in the bottom, uh, bottom of my screen. You don't see their tits. Uh, does one of them have four? One's got, <laughs> one's got blinking. One's tits. got blinking. One. You can't miss my tits because they're blinking. <laughs> Her, put off the red nose. Uh, right? I see. Okay. Well, that's Lorene, the big tit blinker. Yeah, she's on fire. Look at those boobs. Look at those boobs. Oh my dear. She's oh my fabulous. God. Very nice. I think we've turned to a porno show. You know that? No wonder we have four and a half million viewers. I bet they're all old degenerates. <laughs> degenerate men. Sadie's sitting there like a lady because she's engaged to Miles. And Miles will beat her to death. If she she gets vocal or fresh. I'm happy to be here. I'm listening to all no, this. It's no, a lot of fun. No, no, no. So turn it into a Christmas show now. You've got okay, all these celebrities here it is. on. Here it is. Here it is. Miles came home and saw a Christmas tree and got the tree, picked it up, and beat Sadie with it, saying, I'm a Jew. What are you doing with a Christmas tree? <laughs> you stupid bitch. That's he surprised me with the tree. He left. He well, said, when I first met him, he said, no woman brings home a... He said, I'm never going to have a tree. I'm Jewish. I'm 50. No tree goes in my house. And I went... Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and then he got a tree. And this year he surprised me, so he sucked I, in. I have, a, I have a menorah on my fire mantle. Yeah. And I'm, I'm only like a little Jewish from my father, but... Christmas tree I was raised with. My mother raised us Catholic. My father hated her. and Not her, but the Catholics and the priests and the nuns. I was never allowed to go to church. My father taught me Judaism, which is philosophy. So, yes, I believe that both holidays blend. After all, like I said earlier, Christ was a Jew. He wasn't Irish or French. He was a Jew. Yeah. All right? And you're celebrating his birthday, folks. So I said, all you anti-Semites out there, fuck you. Because Christmas... <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is about Jesus Christ. It's a Ron is in the holiday spirit. Yes, he is. In the holiday spirit. is. Because you know, with all this bullshit about a happy holiday, we're not allowed to say Ron Merry doesn't like it with a happy Merry holiday Christmas. thing. Fuck you. I've been having Merry Christmas for 80 years of my life. 
Merry Christmas, not Happy Holidays. Merry it's Christmas, right. You know, I go to all these supermarkets, right? Stores, wherever I go. People say, Happy Holidays. And I say, No, Merry Christmas. And you what know, I say, he does the same thing. You know, <laughs> I, I educate. My turn, my turn. You know what everybody says? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Every single person I go to not, the not one person wherever I go, up. dollar store, everybody says, Merry Christmas. And not one man has ever said, I want to grab you by the tits and ball you. <laughs> that got Sean's attention. I saw mommy Santa Claus. What's happening with this Santa Claus over here? Uh, that's, that's, that's Scott Page in Santa that's Claus. Me. So I'm hold missing, on. I, I, can't, I can't see the entire room. I only see the two guys. So I'm missing out on all the excitement. Oh, uh, I, Santa. Can, I, can see, I see everybody. So hold on. We got to get everybody Some of you are in little round circles above the screen. Okay, yes. so hold on. Let's go. Okay, I, I'm going to direct now a little bit. Okay, uh, so, uh. so uh, Cindy, you're there. Say hello to everybody. Hi, Hi everybody. All right. Since I know I know that you're a Sean Canaan, I know you're a Sean Canaan fan. Ask him a question. This is the one and only opportunity. I am. I'm such a fan. I've been watching for so long. I can't tell you how long. He's not that old. Get over it. <laughs> I've watched ever since he started the show. So. Wow. There you go. Yeah, but I'm you don't so get fan. to grab him and hug Cindy's him. Cindy's like, like one of the best music promoters on planet Earth. That's and my, we do a lot of like work together. Oh, wait. My, oh, my own. Cindy Lady Lake, you don't get to hug him like I do. Every time we greet each other, he hugs me. Oh, you're jealous. I mean, you would like it if he hugged you, wouldn't you? <laughs> the only problem is his wife, Michelle, is Italian. And one phone call to New Jersey and you're dead. <laughs> so hold on. Eileen, it's your turn. Ask anybody on the panel. Say whatever you want because we need to hear from the people that we don't see at the moment. Okay. So Hi, Eileen. Hi, everyone. How are you? <laughs> I just saw you a little circle. Hi, sweetheart. I just <laughs> see you like a big circle. Big circle yeah. Like a big square. You look great. <laughs> and I love you, Tree, too. I just, you know what? I don't want to ask anyone anything, but no just text me and said, Merry Christmas. He's not home and he's sorry. And okay. Noah's not, 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 not coming on. Noah's not coming. Shut up, Torpedo. Why is he not coming? Because. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. Oh, but, <laughs> wait, wait, is Olga coming? Uh, if no, it's not coming. Olga's not coming. Why? She don't need him. I told her to go. I, I tell told Olga her. to get her ass on this I show. Did. Only have 10 minutes left. Only 10 minutes? Two hours? Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Anyway, Scott, no said that he's going to either hook up with you or whatever and, and go to the guitar store with you. Ooh, I got a new guitar I want really bad. Thank you very much. There you go. You oh, got to like love my it. Christmas present. He present. got excited, but he's excited about the guitar. I'm anyway, I want to get back to Sean on a serious note. <laughs> Rumor has it, I don't know where I heard it, yeah, 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 that uh, Tristan Rogers may get an Emmy for his performance. He is, he is absolutely brilliant in this. You know, I think people are so used to seeing Tristan as Robert Scorpio. Yeah. The role that we created for Tristan is absolutely not who that is. He is heartbreaking and he is beautiful and funny. And I mean, every time I watch him, it, it, I, I well up. And uh, Patrika Darbo, also incredible in it. Um, you is know, Patrika Darbo the lady who plays your mom? She plays my mom. We've already gotten a couple of yeah, uh, reviews that have been terrific and uh we just hope to be really competitive during me season i think you know and tr tristan, tristan. That, I want people to see this this has been something that i've been working on in in different incarnations for over a decade and i never really anticipated it being a digital series um wow. but when i had the opportunity to get it funded and make it into, into a digital series you know i made the choice to to do it and um all six episodes are coming out at the same time and uh, I really just hope everyone watches it. And I think so we can binge. Yeah. Yeah. They're only ten minutes long. Okay. Yeah, it's a web series. Yeah, Tristan's coming to our party Friday. Also, oh, with his oh. with his beautiful wife, I call oh. her I call her my gypsy girl because she looks like a wild <laughs> gypsy. Doesn't, um, doesn't I love Teresa. No, Teresa brought Parkin. Oh, and he's talking, and you're like I talking know, over. I, honey, it's very hard to see him. He's all cloudy. <laughs> 
Ah, you just listen. <laughs> or, it's, or it's my cataract. I don't know. So hold on, because we've got 10 minutes left, and we, I want to be able to hear from everybody. So we need to Who like, else is coming on? There's nobody else coming on, but but you've got uh, you've got all these people on. And let's like get everybody so everybody can hear everybody talk about something. So come up with a suggestion. Everybody you know, tell us what they got coming somebody out there loan me some money to get a divorce from Mary? <laughs> right. <Claire. laughs> right. Everybody needs to like be talking. All right, so I'll come up with something. Then. All right, so everybody should have something coming up. Then shut up. It's the end of the year. Everybody should have something to come up. Uh, uh, tell us what it is, whatever it is that you want to like promote real quick. Let's go through it, starting with um, Eileen. You go first. Um, I just want to promote the... Scott's uh, Nam Nam thing because, Yay! because that's gonna be the coolest thing in life, and, and Johnny's gonna be there, and you guys are gonna be there, and it's 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 just gonna be the most fabulous show that ever was historically ever epic. All right, go. So Johnny, you're next. So Johnny, wake up. He went to masturbate. So Johnny, uh. Uh, my next, my next uh, gig is probably going to be for the Humane Society because Jimmy, you mentioned dogs before, uh, and uh, that's uh, Johnny dot com to sign up for our email list. Anybody who would like to come and jam and have a great time and support another great cause. There you go. I like that one, Scott Page. You're up. I'm just going to say I'm just going back to our thing. We're building the Watts Music School. I want to thank Johnny. He's actually one of our supporters. Coming in and sponsoring our event. It's November 6th. I mean, it's January 16th during NAM show. It's coming up. It's going to be an incredible night. It's an insane venue. The venue is a show It's on its own. So uh, definitely come see us. It's called Highway 39. That'll be a great night. I mean, the celebrity musicians, because, you know, we have the NAM show. All the musicians from all over the world are coming to that event. It's a massive show. So that night's going to be a star studded, insane thing. And we're doing a. Uh, uh, Dark Side of the Nam, which is a whole Pink Floyd tribute, so all these celebrities are going to sit in with us. We're going to celebrate the music of Pink Floyd and a whole bunch of other stuff, and it's going to be a crazy night, and all you guys are going to be here, so uh, I hope everybody can make it. It's going to be fun. There you go. All right, Cindy Diadamo, go. be off the hook. Off the hook. Um, next year, I'm looking forward to going into my 14th year as one of the biggest independent music promoters in the United States. Uh, we're looking to repeat our Boston Showcase. That was my roster at City Winery. So um, I also work for Giving Tuesday uh, for No Kid Hungry with uh, Jimmy and Worldstar. So I'm looking to do some more charity work next year. Good for Perfect. you. Right. All right, Lorene Landon, you're up. Hi, I'm doing, a, I've got Agramon Skate coming out early February that I star in. Uh, Nations Fire, January 16th is the premiere. And I'm going to, like I said earlier, Branson uh, and Rockaway Beach, Missouri, uh, from Portland. So I'll be gone a couple of weeks. And I have the best photographer, cinematographer on the planet named Chuck France. He's phenomenal. Ben Lawson is the director, producer, writer. And we have we have the entire community of France and Missouri backing us and welcoming us. So I cannot wait to go and be five Good. degrees weather. Good. We Yay. got we gotta stop you because Sadie. we don't have time. Sadie, my daughter. No, we have eight minutes. We're okay. Oh, eight minutes. You could go, Laureen. <laughs> we'll come back to you. Go, Sadie. <laughs> oh, um, I have automation right now is out on Amazon and Hulu and all kinds of things for which is a sci-fi fun horror movie and um, Megan's going to be out soon which is a thriller it's kind of like um, a misery with some sex and some scares and jump in um, uh, let's see Amity is going to be coming out Thrill Flicks is also to look for some curated horror films. Um, and I'm about to go do, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it, but I'm about to go do a holiday movie in, in um, Illinois. So I'm excited about that. And I also just did The Step Daddy. So that will be coming out for BET soon. Yay. Uh, nice. And Sean, make sure you mention that you have a movie that just came out last week. Yeah. Stephen uh, I have a film that just came out called Beyond the Law with Steven Seagal, DMX, and Johnny Messner. Uh, it's in select theaters, and also I guess you can get it on uh, the video and demand platforms. And then I'll be headlining at the Comedy Store on Sunset. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, cool. Man. What man. Date, what, Wait, when is that? What date when is, is that? that? We're going to be there. We'll be there. 
What yeah, Ron, you can't heckle me this time. You can't heckle it. Oh my god! Oh, I never heckled you. I just told you to speed <laughs> it up a little. <laughs> oh my god, Ron! I never. No, I never heckled him. I simply said you got to speed it up a little. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, I wait a minute. I did stand-up comedy for forty-eight fucking oh years. God. If anybody knows about timing and hitting the button on stand-up, it's me. I had I'm incredible time. Hold on, so he's not he's not inviting you, but tell everybody when that is, Sean. When is it? We'll be uh, there. January third uh, at the uh, Comedy Store in Sunset. I need I'm, bring, I'm, I'm bringing a basket of tomatoes. <laughs> Kadrosha, what's up, Kadrosha? Well. Besides being queen of the paranormal and liking to scare people all the time, I got a lot of really neat projects coming up. Today, uh, while I'm in my kind of supernatural outfit, I uh, host a brand new show that we're starting to film right now called uh, Supernatural News Bullets. That's really cool. It's going to be 30 seconds of a whole bunch of supernatural you know, happenings. And I'm also the founder and president of the New England Music Hall of Fame. And we're having our inductee ceremony, our first one, March 26th. So we're looking for a whole bunch of talent within New England. And I'm also doing uh, a program on uh, My Jam Music Television uh, called um, it's Music Heals. And we don't have a specific name for it, but to bring out all the different bands and all the different people who make music that actually heals people. Um, I think it's, it's essential all the way back to the Native Americans up until now. And I want to be able to highlight that and have that, you know, go through Simul TV and My Music Jam TV and whatnot. And of course, Paranormal 13 News, which I do on the Galaxy Global Network and Hotbox TV. Uh, we're in our third season trying to film that now. Uh, actually, right Yay. after. Hey, and it's in all the airports. Uh, okay, good. Oh, now Jimmy yeah. Jimmy has nothing to talk about, but I do. I have I have two sensational movies coming out that, of course, I wasn't starring in. But if I were the star, the films would have been, you know, regular TV. I mean, regular movies, Academy Award stuff. But since I wasn't starring and I had these little parts, but I'm very happy to say I played opposite my Sadie Katz, who who I love He's so much. Very handsome who, and funny and sweet. No, but but Sadie, let me Stop. tell you something. Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. I work with Sophia Loren, Tab Hunter, Jacqueline oh, Smith, Stop. Farrah Fawcett. The list of people I've worked with in my lifetime is big. But Honey Bunch, nobody moved me the way you did on that set. You absolutely had me convinced. You know, folks, when you shoot a movie, it's very corny when you're on the set. When actors deliver their lines, you think, oh, is this ever going to look good on film? It does. But Sadie, in person, makes it, be it makes it so real. I started to cry. I swear on my children. Of course, I swear. I started to cry. I, can't, I don't want to give away the scene. Oh, my but she, she gets jilted at the altar. I'm marrying her to this guy and she gets jolted well you had to see sadie's reaction i began to cry I, that, she's a brilliant 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 actress and i'm nice. proud to say the movie is called clown fear well, and that's another film that you're in wow the, <laughs> what's your other film Tom, uh, <laughs> I guess I would never say shut your fucking mouth. But I would, I would say it to. Oh, is Michelle there, Sean? So Michelle, yeah, jump in. Wait, Michelle said to mention that Michelle. No, it wasn't Michelle, but she's there. She's talking. He's talking to somebody. So. But who said to talk about? All right, the film is called Croker, and it that's and not it what should they were talking croak. About. The film should croak. And there's a, and there's Lorene's new dog, everybody that we were talking oh, wait, about. I'm not finished pushing. Thomas Church did a wonderful film called The Big Friggin' Rat, and it's about this huge rat. Joe Castro, quiet, quiet, quiet. I'm plugging fellow workers. Lorene, contain yourself. It's not me. It's a dog. <laughs> um, Joe Castro did a brilliant Hurry job up, you got a minute. making this Volkswagen sized rat that terrified me. And this rat is a killer rat. Anyway, that's Thomas Churchill, Thomas Churchill directing. So Angela is in the chat room. What's up, Angie Babies? Wait, Angie Babies connected with Motel. 
Clown Motel, which is hitting the scores of God knows why and where. Oh, look, now there's another dog. And now everybody's bringing the dog. Hey, Michelle and her two dogs. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. How are you? So, you guys, we've, got, we've only got two, uh, like a minute left to go. So, first of all, we want to thank all of you guys for Skyping yeah, in say, on our say, Christmas say show. Sadie has a pet, too. Show him your pussy, Sadie. She has this, she has this kitty cat. Oh, She's shy. She's shy. She's shy. She's shy. She's shy. She's shy. So, you guys, first of all, well, we want to thank everybody on the line. Kadrosha, Maureen, yeah. Sadie, Shana, Michelle, Soho, Johnny, Eileen, Cindy, uh, uh. Lady Lake, Scott Page, all of you guys for calling in on our show. Danielle and Scott. Uh, Wait a minute. I have to say something. You have like Seriously, no stupid Ron. This is intelligent Ron. I am so lucky to know each and every one of you and oh, to uh, love so many of you so much as I do. At my age, quality of time is important. Not quantity, but quality of my time. And I love spending my time with each and every one of you because you are all quality people. And I love you and I adore you and I wish you all the best of everything. I wish you health and happiness and love. I just adore you all. I mean that from the bottom of my all fucking heart. <laughs> Happy holidays and Merry Let's Christmas. Happy on. On. Merry okay. Christmas. Yeah, I mean that. You're a select back group of wonderful, best. talented people. And you guys, we want to thank all of you for coming in. Everybody yes. will be back on January 8th. I hope everybody yes. has a wonderful Christmas, a Happy New yes. Year, Happy Hanukkah. And Sadie, I want to see you at my party. And Danielle and Scott. Happy Friday. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Friday. Merry Christmas. Everybody, go. Be Everybody quiet. put a so smile right. on someone else's face. Yes, absolutely. Right. Family. You got Family. It, Johnny Boy. Family. Merry Christmas.